T minus T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And lift off of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the third space-based infrared system for the United States Air Force. And we start a closed loop control on Atlas PU. Engine continues to operate normally. You are hearing the voice of Rob Gannon providing launch vehicle ascent data. 30 seconds into the mission, everything works good. Engine continues to operate at 100% thrust. Vehicle is flying right down the center of the range track. Same normal control on the PU system. Good engine operating pressures. And we're seeing expected disturbances in flight control for atmosphere flight. Everything looks good. Coming up on Mach 1 in 10 seconds. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, we have ignition of the RD-180 main engine, 1, liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NROL-79 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. T minus 10, ten nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, RS-68A engine ignition, one, and we have liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Delta IV rocket carrying the WGS-9 mission for the United States Air Force. What a great way to celebrate the Air Force's 70th birthday. That's full thrust. SRM uh, burn profile is also looking good. Light. SRM uh, chamber pressure is beginning to tail off off of uh, max pressure. 30 seconds in. You are hearing the voice of Patrick Moore providing launch Mach vehicle Delta data. 4 is now supersonic. Now passing 46 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. Vehicle traveling right down the middle of the range track, looking good. RS-68 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now passing one minute into flight, approximately 30 seconds remaining in the solid rocket motor burn. SRM burn profiles continue to look good. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, go for main engine start. One, zero, and lift off of the Atlas V rocket with Cygnus and the SS John Glenn, extending the research legacy for living and working in space. Pump speeds and turkey pressures look good. HR roll program has begun. Body rates look good. All systems are go. T minus 15 seconds and counting. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And we have liftoff of Tedris M on the Atlas V rocket from Space Launch Complex 41. 
Tedris M, securing space to ground communication for NASA's low Earth orbit operations, including the International Space Station. Should you all maneuver and steer to its planned path an inclination of 26.2 degrees? Of Patrick Moore providing launch vehicle ascent data. Patrick is the United Launch Alliance Denver Network Operations Center and Command well. Control Center. Pump speeds and injector pressures all looking good. Now Reading the data coming directly from the rocket. Flight. The Atlas and rocket carrying Tetris uh, M reached supersonic here. speed at 1 minute and 20 seconds into flight. T minus 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Five, four, three, two. We have ignition of the RD-180 main engine. One, and liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NROL-42 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Have ignition and liftoff. Liftoff of the United Launch Alliance Atlas V rocket carrying the NROL 52 mission for the National Reconnaissance Office. Conductor Scott Bonney reports a green board. Everyone is go. T minus six, five, four, three, two, engine start, one, and liftoff of Delta II and NOAA's Joint Polar Satellite System One, making the U.S. a more weather ready nation. The Delta II is proceeding on a flight azimuth of 196 degrees, just to the west of 180 degrees south. Looking good. Also seeing a good symmetric burn across all six groundlet solids. We're listening now to the voice of Patrick flight. Moore, ULA flight commentator. 33 seconds into flight, the Delta II rocket will reach Mach 1, breaking now the speed of sound. 30 seconds. Chamber pressure on main engine and veneer engines continue to look good. Now passing Mach 1, Delta II is now supersonic. At 49 seconds, Delta and II encounters to a very symmetric burn across all six maximum aerodynamic solids. pressure or max Q. This is the point where the mechanical stress in the rocket now reaches its peak. 48 seconds, max Q, maximum dynamic pressure. The six ground-lit solid okay, rocket motors will burn out about 64 seconds into flight. Tail off. 